Hi guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Angus and today we are going to watch the third episode of the first season of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And we are back with Obi-Wan Kenobi here on this channel. We are following Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi, Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, on his path to rescue Leia and bring her back to Alderaan to bail on Ghana. Of course, closely followed by the whole Empire by now, it seems. No, not really, but the Inquisitors and this one Inquisitor's sister in particular, Reva. She is hellbent on capturing Obi-Wan and bringing him to Darth Vader, probably, because she wants the recognition. She wants the recognition that she is also part of this all, because right now it seems she's only treated as, you know... Uh, yeah, she, she's an outsider and she's only there because the others took pity on her. And yeah, she wants to capture Obi-Wan and she got very close, very, very close here. She killed, it seems, the Inquisitor, the uh, first one, the Grand Inquisitor, as he wanted to take all of the glory here and capturing Obi-Wan. But that isn't happening on Reva's watch. And now Obi-Wan and Leia are on their way to, um, yeah... To where exactly? I don't know. To Alderaan? Probably not, because this one guy, um, Naja, was his name, I guess. This one fake Jedi helped them and yeah. Now they are on their way to some kind of planet where someone is supposed to be waiting. Who that is, we don't know exactly. Maybe it is someone we know, maybe not. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's an enemy, maybe it's someone in between. But... That one thing is for certain, the last scene we had was Darth Vader awakening in a Bacta tank. So Darth Vader officially has joined this show and I am very, very um, curious to see what exactly are we going to see from Darth Vader. Are we going to see him in flashbacks? Are we going to see him uh, yeah, using his power in the Empire to do stuff, you know, his usual kind of stuff that we saw in episode 5 in particular, you know, choking some generals because they are incompetent or maybe talking to Palpatine, I have no idea. We have only one way, of course, to find that out and that is exactly just to jump right into the episode. Have fun. Yeah, and that's not also not what you want to hear from Qui-Gon, you know? Only flashback things. He wants actual counseling. Mm -hmm. He's been looking for you for a long time. Yeah, ten years after and he's still not over this. I don't understand it. I mean, he only cut off three of his limbs and left him to die and burn. So what's the problem? Oh yeah, right. He also betrayed him. He will pay for the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor means nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Is all that matters now. Is that understood? Yes, mm -hmm. my lord. So yeah, she's pinning this, uh, of course, on Obi Wan. Who would have thought? Prove yourself. And the position of Grand Inquisitor is yours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what she wants. Recognition. But you know, that's also the thing with that one. It feels more epic because you have guys like Obi-Wan there. You have characters like Darth Vader. And in an instant, it feels big time. Mm -hmm. The Force. What does it feel like? <laughs> does he really know? Seems he's, his connection to the Force is not as strong anymore. How does it feel when you turn on the light? I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. Maybe he. Uh, this is exactly what he needs to, you know, reconnect with the Force in the way he needs it. Although we, of course, don't know if he really is that disconnected. I mean, uh, we saw it took quite a lot out of him to, to stop Leia's fall, which is certainly not something that it would have done uh, when he yeah, would have done it 10 years prior. He lost some of his edge and his yeah power. It's not that easy anymore. Coordinates say the meeting point is further north. That is if our new friend was telling the truth. Why would he lie? People are not all good, Leia. What? How should she know? She was only kidnapped a few days ago. There were fields and families. 
And then the Empire came in and ravaged it all. But the Empire was supposed to be helping us. <laughs> oh well, not quite. Oh. And who are you? Another fake Jedi or... Oh. Anakin. Yeah. Um. It's just his fear coming back. But, right, he doesn't know about him being Darth Vader. So, uh, for all that he know, it could be that Anakin still looks the same. Although, of course, he was heavily burned and stuff. But he doesn't know. Question also, will he meet Vader in this? Or at least, will he see him and see what he, he had become? He's in one of the mining systems. You do not know that. He could be anywhere. I traced the manifest. We should send out all remaining probes now. You are not in charge here. But she knows more than you. That's the problem. Okay, so there are only three Inquisitors here? Send out the probes. Do it now. <sighs> ah, nice. It's a power struggle. We like that quite a lot. All right. Probe droids. The ones that we know from Hoth or other ones. This is it. This is where he told us to come to. Well, then Maybe just wait. Just wait. Maybe it was a lie. Knew it. I never should have trusted him. Well, at least you're out of, uh, you know, that problem that you had before, and now you are on another planet. At least this. It's Hi. a space I'm rodent. Here. This is my friend, my father. This is my father, Orden. We're farmers from Tall. Hey there, I'm Frank. <laughs> no, it's a space mole. Okay. Why not? Well, I'm going that way. Jump in. Oh, no, that's all right. Thank you. We just need directions. Come on, Father. We've walked long enough. Um. My pleasure. Hop in. Seems nice enough. Although he has a voice like Kermit the Frog. But we don't know exactly, you know, here. Empire. But who knows? Maybe this is exactly the one they are supposed to meet there. All good people out in tall. They pay their way. Listen to the Empire? Absolutely. We love the Empire. Yay! Both thumbs up for the Empire. Ooh. Come on, Obi-Wan. A little mind trick here. Transport. No, we are not the people you are looking for. Evening. Hello, nice to meet you. Good day, sir. Looking for a Jedi. Ah. Jedi. No Jedi here. Never. Over never was. Oh yeah, the dangerous Jedi. We have to catch them all. Doesn't help really that Obi-Wan looks absolutely like a Jedi with his coat. He brought me here to see the place where he met my mother. Yeah, but uh, Leia's uh, improvisation skills are very good. Very nice. You haven't heard anything. Nothing. Are you sure he's even on this planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. Leia. Obi-Wan, are you really that thick? Luma Leia, you know? It's a double name. Sometimes when I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. Oh, that's nice. That's very you nice. Her very much. Because this is the truth, you know, with Padme too. Okay, okay, okay. Close, but uh, very nice. Also a nice character moment. And maybe Leia will notice something. He really uh, knew her mother. You knew her. My real mother. Didn't you? It was just a story. The whole time I've known you, you've been hiding something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is a long story. That is a very long, long story. Are you my real father? Uh, no. Certainly not. I wish I could say I was. But no, I'm not. But he knew your father. He was a great one, a great Jedi, a good friend. I remember a baby. A baby? Yes, I think I had a brother. Oh. I really don't remember him. I wish I did. But that's very nice. More character for, for Obi-Wan 
and you know make him more human because he was lacking uh, a little bit in that regard i know these fellows Ooh, mind tricks obi-wan mind tricks remember who are they a couple of strays i found thought you might want to check them out of course you can't trust him mind trick time it is Ah! Okay. <laughs> you call him Obi Wan Wick. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. No mind trick today. Sad. Ah, still works the same. Okay, you could have just walked around it. Put your head down. And who are you? Ah. Okay, she's a friend. Okay, who are you? I guess she's the one that Haja was talking about. I'll inform Lord Vader. He's already been informed. He was most appreciative. Oh, cool. Now they are fighting for Vader's appreciation. Daddy likes me more than you. Ah, uh, yeah. Children's quarrel. But yeah, we are stumbling from one problem into the next. He gave you the right coordinates. I was on my way when the probes arrived, but you'd already gone. I hadn't expected anyone to come. Yeah, I said it. Wait. But no. Everything will be all right, Leia. We'll make it out. I didn't mean to. What happens? I didn't mean to run away. I used to do it all the time. I just... Yeah, and this time you got kidnapped. I mean, huh. It's lack of protection around your home, I'd say. Don't well, destroy like her. Uh, he's, he's just a loader. They don't allow them to communicate. Oh. But what if he has some... What a say? shame. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. So, will Vader also come there? These days, the Empire hunts anyone who's false sensitive, even children. Hmm. What happens to them? Okay. Uh, killed sure. or uh, made into inquisitors or something like that, you know? Would be my guess. But we also see um, oh, Leia's path yeah, to um, yeah, to the Smuggling rebellion, younglings. I guess. Oh, Quinlan Vos, right. I heard about him. I read about him. I don't know exactly um, if that's right, but I think he turned to the dark side a little bit later on. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, yeah. Question is, of course, are we going to see uh, Quinlan Voss in this show or maybe later one? I mean, that's the thing with Star Wars, really. It is uh, it has so much to offer in terms of characters and stories because the galaxy is so vast and the, the history behind all of this is just, you know, gigantic. Can you teach me how to shoot? Leia. Come and get ready. She'll make a good fighter mm. one day. Oh yes, she will. Definitely. Why do you do this? Risk everything. I joined up when the Empire stood for something. By the time I realized what they really were, it was mm -hmm. too late. But when was it? You know, when the Empire stood for something? The very beginning? Mm. <sighs> okay. What's happening? Ben? PTSD? What is it? Or is Vader on the on the planet now? Yeah, I guess so. I guess Vader has landed. Yeah, he's here. Yeah, but don't watch. Go, just go, because he can feel you. He can feel your presence. Yeah. Go now. You see what he's become. Hmm. Don't know, will Tala maybe sacrifice herself? Obi-Wan, just go. Get it, Alderaan. Promise me. Promise me. Oh, or what? Does he want to finish what he started? Because uh, he's too dangerous to be left alive? I don't know. I don't know. But certainly fighting against uh, Vader in this situation would be a bad idea because I don't think he st would stand a chance. Mm. He said not to engage. Would 
to sweep the town. Search for others. That's true. You don't want to get uh, between uh, between Vader and Obi-Wan here. <laughs> Certainly not. Well, that doesn't look good. No wandering around in open open field. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Okay, are we going to see it? A first time since the end of episode 3? No. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, he is afraid. He is definitely afraid. You cannot run. Oh, there it is. Finally. Less heroic than I thought it would be, but, um, well, it is how it is. Mm hmm. Okay, so they really faced what each have you other. Become? I am what you made me. Yeah, what was left alive? Oh no. Why is it always her? Seems she has a pretty good instinct. Yeah, the situation doesn't look very good here. And so, yeah, Obi-Wan's plan is right now just to distract him. No? So, um, Leia can escape. Oh, shit. Okay, the first lightsaber battle since, uh, yeah. Quite a long time. Hmm. Yeah, but he's certainly a lot stronger with his, um, mechanic arms. The years have made you weak. Yeah, that too. That too. He looked better in episode 4. <laughs> Although slower. Keep running till you reach the port. A pilot will meet you there. <sighs> mm-hmm. So, okay. Bring him back. Uh, where is she though? I mean, first she has to um, get through the third sister. Use the force! A little bit, at least. I was talking to Obi-Wan, not you, Darth. You should have mm. killed me when you had the chance. Ah, well, yeah, of course, but... Mm, easier said than done. I mean, he had compassion. Hmm, okay. But she did not find the secret passage, yet. <laughs> that was faster than I anticipated. Hmm. Hmm. hmm yeah. Obi Wan still running away. Yeah. I mean, he's like basically like Jason. <laughs> Jason Vo Voorhees. Slow but unstoppable and extremely strong. Okay. Cool. Now you will suffer, Obi Wan. Oh yeah, an eye for an eye. Hmm. Your pain has just begun. Yeah, but he will not lose all his hair, at least. That is what we know. So, Tala to the rescue, indeed. Oh, and it's the droid that is going to save him. Nice. Actions speak louder than words, indeed. Yeah, and uh, Anakin just looking, not doing anything. That's what he can do best. Why exactly? We don't know. I mean, he could just stop the droid with a force, I guess, but... Ah. You know, Obi-Wan has to get away somehow, right? They lost him. He had help where to sweep the planet. No, we'll never find him. And why? Because Vader let him escape. Uh, I think you're going to be okay. Uh, yeah, you're only, you know, burned up a little bit. No, a little bit crispy on the sides, but nothing too bad. Don't be afraid. Ah, no, it's her. Right? Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? No, you're not. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, but... I'll take you from here. Of course. God damn it. Eh. Ah, man. The third sister really is uh, one of the smartest ones here. 
All right, so that was the third episode of Obi Wan Kenobi, and it really is interesting that we are getting a lot of small character moments from Obi Wan here. I mean, sure, it is nothing too big at once, but especially this one scene with Leia where he interweaved reality and the story, and in the end, it was really just him talking about Leia because it's obvious that he remembers Padme, and when he looks at her, she really, you know, reminds him of her. And uh, yeah, that is very nice. Then the thing with Anakin and Darth Vader, we, we saw that he's so afraid. He saw Anakin standing somewhere and now the thing with Vader. Yeah, he's really, really afraid and um, rightfully so, of course, because he thought this was behind him and he probably let his guard down a little bit and completely abandoned the lightsaber and did not train and the force also. And now that he has to fight, you know, Anakin as Darth Vader, he, uh, yeah, he really is no match for him. He can't fight against him with a lightsaber because he's much stronger and he has practice. His force abilities are a little bit rusty and therefore, yeah, no chance here. And without the help of Tala, he would have probably, you know, not died at the spot, but he would have been captured and then so on and so forth. Yeah, and therefore it's going to be interesting to see what is he going to do now. Is he taking this as a warning and begins to train once again so he can be ready for the next time they'll meet? Episode 4 probably. Yeah, this is definitely the one thing that we have to keep an eye on. Sadly, now Leia is gone once again because Reva is obviously the most clever person here and is always um, one step ahead and does the right thing, which is a little bit uh, annoying, to be quite honest. But let's see, let's see. I guess she will take Leia to uh, Darth Vader and then uh, they have to take her back. How they are going to do this, no idea. But they have their work cut out for them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they are going to take Leia back on this planet and then flee, who knows. But right now it uh, looks rather impossible. But nah, never say never. The one thing that I found a little bit um, funny or, yeah, not to say ridiculous, but, you know, this one scene when uh, Darth Vader was standing there and Tala incinerated the ground and then there was the fire that was only a little bit bigger than the previous fire and, uh, yeah, then the droid came and took Obi-Wan away and he was just standing there looking, menacing, not doing anything. Not stopping the droid with his force or throwing his lightsaber, which he can do, obviously, we know that. You know, or not even not even starting to walk around the fire. He basically did nothing. And yeah, that was a little bit ridiculous because, I mean, he waited so long for this, for his revenge. And now he got his, his arch enemy right in front of you, a few meters away from you. Only a little bit of fire is there. And it is also not like, you know, he's uh, some kind of traumatized by the fire, so he's paralyzed and can't do anything, because we saw before that that he wasn't afraid of fire. So, uh, yeah, there's basically no argument to be made here, but, you know. Somehow, Obi-Wan had to escape, but then again, don't put him in this situation if you can't get him out without um, yeah, making other characters look a little bit stupid. But now it happened, and apart from that, I said it once again, you know, just with the inclusion of Darth Vader and Obi-Wan, this just feels big time, in comparison especially, of course, with the other shows. And of course, it's nothing that the show does in itself, because we are just riding the success of older movies, but still, it feels bigger, it feels more epic, it feels more important, and that is definitely something that this show has going for it. But yeah, that was my reaction to the third episode of the first season of Obi-Wan Kenobi. I hope you liked it, of course. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, you know, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Also, if you like, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. And uh, yeah, apart from that, I can only say have a nice day, stay safe, and I see you in the next video.